Jesus had some pretty hard teachings. One of them, in my opinion, maybe one of the hardest ones is these words that he spoke saying, depart from me. And he's given an example of individuals that will come to him in the end times and then say, Lord, Lord. And he's basically addressing them saying, why do you call me Lord? I don't even know you, depart from me. <laughs> and the funny thing is, is that these individuals so arrogant argued with him, debated with him, tried to explain to him how he was wrong. Boy, don't we do that sometimes. We don't like what God does or what the Bible says and we try to mold it to what we want, what we think. We try to correct the Lord, Doing crazy stuff. And this depart from me is pretty scary. And, and I have had discussions with lots of Christian brothers and sisters over the years and some pretty quickly dismiss it. Well, they were never saved and things of that nature and others are, they have fallen away and, and uh, it just, the discussions get convoluted and confusing. So over the years, what I've really kind of looked at that and processed it is, it's a lot scarier than some theological um, predetermination or once saved, always saved. But these individuals actually approached the Lord, thought they were right with him or thought they could approach him and say, we're one of yours. And really that is scary and confusing at the same time. Now they're either that steeped in their sin and their arrogance or they're misunderstanding that doing miracles or doing works in the Lord is synonymous with being um, okay with him. So works for salvation or good works in your walk, which we're supposed to do. But ultimately, I don't want to be the guy who tries to argue with Jesus about the fact that I'm wrong or right with him. I am always wrong in the sight of the Lord. I think I'd rather be on my knee before him asking for forgiveness than trying to debate with him and argue with him that I've done a lot of good stuff in you. So you're wrong. I'm right with you. Straighten yourself out, Jesus. These individuals just didn't take a look at themselves for what they really were. They were not sober in their judgment and they did not judge themselves appropriately and we're supposed to do that. Jesus doesn't want to tell anyone to part from me, but he says many will come to me in that day and will try to argue with me about who their Lord was. We have to get up every day fighting to not be our own Lord, fighting to make sure that it's about humility and repentance of heart and not about works or good works that make us right with him. And we certainly shouldn't fall into the trap of thinking that if I do some wrong things, because he calls them evildoers, that means they're being sinful, they're breaking the law, they're doing things they shouldn't. And they're saying, but we did all these good things. So that's what makes us right with you. And that's why you should think we're right with you because we did good things. Nothing we do makes us right with him other than accepting his salvation and doing that in humility. But yet apparently many will come in that day and say, Lord, Lord, haven't we done all that we're supposed to to be right with you? Because you showed up and did miracles and cast out demons. That means you showed up. That means you accept me. When actually he does miracles, not because of us, but despite of us. Really important to keep that in mind. And then just the humility of he's the only one who justifies us. And we don't do that through our own works. And no miracle, sign, or wonder is indicative of the fact that I'm special and I'm right with God. It's because He's special and He's right. To learn more about The Way, visit thetruthandthelife.com.